It seems strange at first. The physical properties of many materials are described in terms of two kinds of values, not one. If you don't already know that MD is short for machine direction and TD is short for transverse direction, you're fixing to learn something and add a little vocabulary. Let's start with definitions. Machine direction, MD, is the direction that a material unwinds, usually as it's being fed into a printing press, shrink film, tunnel, uh, vertical horizontal bagger, um, could be any number of things. The TD, or transverse direction, is the direction which is 90 degrees to the machine direction also abbreviated as CD, which stands for cross direction, it means the same thing. Let's look at an example or two of some materials which are oriented in the machine direction only. Wood's a very common example. It's got good flex, good strength this way, which is the machine direction, the direction that the plant grows, but nothing there in the cross direction. Very common example in plastic is strapping. This is polypropylene strapping, which is all oriented in the machine direction. Very strong this way. Nothing there in the cross direction. Same thing happens if you make strapping out of polyester and you orient all of the molecules in the machine direction. These materials are described as being very unbalanced. By contrast, a material which has good machine direction and transverse direction strength is said to be balanced. The example is BOPP, or biaxially oriented polypropylene. Think of it like the axis of the earth, and the other direction would be the direction the earth spins. Two different axes. Well, this polypropylene is oriented in both the machine direction and the transverse direction. If you look at a data sheet for the actual material itself, you'll see that the values for the MD and TD are very, very close. Blown film has variability, which means that you can have a lot of difference in the orientation between the dye that the plastic comes out of and the final width. You can blow it up or down like a soap bubble. Now this affects many things such as the strength in both the machine direction and cross direction. It affects shrinking a lot. The more that you orient the, the material in the transverse direction, the more it's going to shrink in the transverse direction. The machine direction, because you pull the material this way, is always going to be more or less 65%. To prove a point, we made some material and we oriented all the molecules in the machine direction. Now, this is the cross direction, you can't tear it. But, look at this. Very easy to tear in the cross direction when you make a bag out of it and turn it 90 degrees. Now you understand what MD and TD, machine direction, transverse direction, means and you understand how the orientation of the molecules in these different directions or axes affects the final properties of some plastics.